Beyonce, or I like to call her Sasha Fierce. You know why she has her alter ego, Sasha Fierce, don't you? It's a very, it's not a good fit. It's not a good alter ego. That's yeah. when she worships Satan. That's when the devil inside of her comes out. And she actually channels that um, person, or I guess it's not even a person, that demon inside of her when she performs. Because uh, <clears throat> when you're performing in front of a, a large group, she's basically doing like a spell. She's doing uh, black magic on them. And so that's why she has to oh. incorporate Sasha Fierce so that she could teach the occult and satanic undertones without you know, seeming like overly you know. doing it. Yeah, without overly doing it. Yeah. Do you think that I've I've always thought about like what Beyonce and where like she's at right now. And this has been on my mind like for real. Mm -hmm. Like I'm always wondering how deep is she in it? Like is she mixing her um New Orleans roots into it or is she going straight demonic, if that makes sense. Yeah, well and then did you see Travis Scott, and I guess we're not going to show any of the videos, Jimmy, of the people crashing out. No, but we have your video of the Kamala bait and switch. Okay, well, let's play the Kamala bait and switch video. But, uh, uh, Donye, everybody was crashing out. The people were having seizures left and right. I, was it, like, why, though? Like I don't know. A lot of people said it was uh, demonic why? possession. You know why. We can't say it on YouTube, but <laughs> you know why. It. Yeah. it could be part of the reason people were boosted up. It, uh, you know, but there were white people. Pe <laughs> there the white people were the ones that's crashing a, out the most. Yeah, that's what like. Well, uh, white people were the ones that probably went and got boosted, and probably you know a lot of African Americans just never got vaccinated because they're lazy, right? I mean, let's, I never got vaccinated, but not because of the science, but because you were just lazy. And, the science. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do with science. It's just because you're lazy. You didn't want to go to CVS. You would have gotten it for free. You still didn't want it. I was terrified, and and my dad didn't get it, and my even my grandma didn't get it, of course. So it's like I wasn't gonna get it. All right, now let's watch my video of uh, Kamala Harris doing the old razzle dazzle bait and switch to thirty thousand Houstonians that were absolutely devastated. The Kamala Harris rally in Houston, Texas was absolutely insane. Yep. You saw Beyonce and Kelly Rowland walked out. Kelly looked like Beetlejuice. And then Look at that suit. <laughs> after that, Five XL suit. Out, right? I don't like when she does it, but I, I think I know why she does so it. Mad why is like, she hiding what, something? What? Beyonce no, spoke I think for three I'll minutes. tell you. I thought we were going to get a free concert. This video Wait, got what? 10 million views on? on my Twitter. Wait, why is she hugging Kamala? I thought this was a concert. Oh, and then Kelly and Beyonce have a lot, nice little moment, you know, reminiscing. And then everybody Look, realized everybody, that it was a big as, switch was, and they walked soon as she their walked off stage, out. Yeah, they all as started walking out. Oh my God, on that dang stage, everybody was pissed off, rightfully so. They duped us. They duped the entire city of Houston, Texas. 30,000 pissed off people right before an election less than two weeks away. What is Kamala Harris thinking? It was a night to forget. I'll was tell it you that white much. and black people Kamala walking Harris. out? Uh, it was mainly African Americans. What do you think about that? As a Kamala Harris supporter, you're a resident Kamala Harris stan. What do you say that she would tell? And let me just let me just preface this by saying, there was young children there that never seen Beyonce. Their parents couldn't afford to take them to a Beyonce concert. They they were wearing their Beyonce T-shirt that they bought bootleg, you know, outside the show. Not even uh, officially licensed merchandise. Very <laughs> poor people that were oh thought God, they were going to get a show. They they waited in the line. For hours, it was 89 degrees, 90 degrees. People were having seizures, people crashing out left and right. You bring your daughter, you come from a broken home, the dad's not involved, the dad's in jail, so the dad can't <laughs> support the kid. And finally, the mom's like, well, oh my gosh, I'm working three jobs just to make ends meet, and finally Beyonce's gonna do something and help the city of Houston. She's gonna go and she's gonna perform a free concert so I can finally take my daughter or my niece and my nephew you know, to the show, and then, poof, she goes up there for three minutes, walks off the stage like she was never even there. And how does that make you feel as a Kamala Harris supporter? Um, how long was she there at the rally? Three minutes. She was on stage for three, I'm not exaggerating. She was on stage for three minutes and then walked off. And her mom introduced her. Her mom was on the stage for three minutes. Her and Kelly Rowland both made a speech that was three minutes each, and then they just walked off stage. They didn't sing. They didn't even make a joke. They didn't even, like... The lowest effort I've ever yeah. seen in my life, Tanya. Um, I feel like them being from Houston mm -hmm. and being, you know, 
and like I think it's the ninth greatest girl group of all time. Yeah. Why the ninth greatest? Wait, there's eight. No, it, no, it's they're the. Destiny's Child. I mean, Destiny's Child is one of the greatest. They're they're in top ten. Yeah, 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 that's, ninth. You know, well, that was just very specific. Yeah. I know because I googled it before I came. Oh, okay. but um, <laughs> we're the Pussycat Dolls. We have a girl from the Pussycat Dolls. They have to be in the top twenty. Twenty, but not. I, they're not. Past Destiny. What's the child. song on my body? What is that song that's so good by Pussy Cat Dolls? Uh, uh, buttons is probably the uh, best. Loosen one. up my buttons, baby. Uh -huh. I don't know where they stand. I know they're a big group. I just don't know, like, on the. But I think it's, it was low, low effort because, especially being from Houston, knowing that it's going to be color and white people there that support you because you got, like. It was mainly black people. It yeah, was but. Literally 89. Yeah, yeah, but if, like, Paul Wall attended. Uh, Trump or Kamala um, rally, we're gonna expect a song. That's what I'm saying. It's Paul Wall would have done a song. Yeah. Even Megan Thee Stallion at least was shaking yeah, she, that ass up and down and giving yeah, us some I agree. twerk music. I feel like it was a bamboozle, but I heard she got paid $10 million for that. Yeah, but they're all saying that. And some people said she got paid $3 million. Some people said she didn't get paid anything. Nah, I mean, Beyonce hard. got paid. Trust Alex, you're, you were joking, but one of the, the women in front of me was a single black mother with her I wasn't joking. Why do you think I was joking well, about that? I mean, that? You're, you know, you're making, but there was literally the, the caricature, caricature you're talking about was right in front of us, and she was so excited when Beyonce. I, that's the woman I'm talking about in the story. I was sitting well, with that, you. Well, but you went. To, I didn't know if you. <laughs> seen, she, but she, she was so hard. I didn't. We were there together. Remember? Yeah, but the, and, and I'm just telling a story about how a woman is with her single child. There was literally a woman with her single child right in front. of I mean, how do you not know that that's the woman I'm referencing? Oh, I thought you were down. You were down filming when she came on. I'm just saying, we were with that damn woman. Her poor kid was crying. I was, I was How could I forget that? I was just started crying when I saw the pain in that child's eyes. And I saw no father figure. Did you see her with a man? There's no man. Of course not. I made up. I don't know if he's in jail or not. I mean, that I did, you know, I embellished that. But I did, there was a single mom right in front of us. I, I'm not making that uh, up. People are like, what, well, Alex, you're making, Brandon's saying I'm making stuff up. Not that I, there was children there without dads, with their mom, wanted to see a Beyonce show, and they didn't get a Beyonce show. That's not cap. That's real. That's 100% real. And did, Bra did Brandon go, like, stand by the mom? Brandon was standing next to the mom. He was right, the like, mom was sitting in the seat right in front of Brandon, and the kid was right there, too. So they were a couple. The the mom and daughter, mom and aunt, I don't know. There's no dad, though. I know there was a woman and no, a I'm child. I'm saying that Brandon just like basically filled in the dad role for like he a He did few kind minutes. of fill in the dad role a little bit. It. He tried. He tried to be the father that stepped up. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Someone has to. Yeah, uh, he did try to step up for that child. I didn't. I saw the kid crying. I'm like, this is fucked up. I got to go. I just, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to get involved. <laughs> So refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 